So there you go, guys. Hugo Ekiteke, or Ekiteke as we like to say. Uh, Newcastle United have pulled out of the deal to sign him. Uh, this is seemingly down to the agent's demands. Uh, Reem had accepted a bid from Newcastle United. Uh, personal terms had apparently been agreed as well with the player. Uh, but unfortunately, it isn't going to take place due to the agent's demands uh, for extra add-ons uh, for money, of course. Now, we've said this a million times, that this deal has been held up by uh, Hugo's uh, representatives for quite some time now. Uh, you know, it's been reported that a couple of meetings were uh, cancelled uh, due to the possibility of other teams being involved uh to take uh, Hugo Ekiteke's uh, signature. However, you know, this cup boils down to agents again. And if I was the player, I'd be very, very angry with this because obviously, you know, he's obviously agreed personal terms. The fees were agreed with the club. Uh, everything looked uh, perfectly safe for a transfer and the agent steps in and ruins everything. Now, is this over, completely over? I'm not too sure because, uh, you know, the player could turn around to the agent and say, look, on your bike, son, uh, you've ruined an opportunity for me to sign for Newcastle. A new agent may come in and Newcastle United may still sign the player. So is it totally dead in the water yet? We don't know. Um, but all the reports have come in this morning saying Newcastle have pulled out of the deal and will not be taking Hugo Ekiteke to Newcastle United. Um, for me, I'm gutted because he looks a very, very talented player, uh, somebody that can really, really improve as time goes by, and especially working under Eddie Howe. That's the frustrating thing. You know, when we get a, an opportunity to sign a player like this who can become world-class and definitely help Newcastle United moving forward, we now have that option taken away from us by an agent who's just pushing for more money and more money and more money. Um, now, this has got to stop in football in general. We know agents have been a problem for a long, long time trying to grab extra money and things like that uh, and scuppering deals left, right and centre because it's not in the interest of them. This deal was perfectly in the interest of, uh, of the player. Obviously, or he wouldn't have agreed personal terms. And then this goes and happens this morning. Uh, and Newcastle United rightly so walk away because they're not going to be pushed around. You know, I'm certainly not blaming the club for this. You know, at the end of the day, if the agent's going to push us around and try and get more money out of us just because he realises that we have more money than any other club in the, on the planet, that doesn't mean anything. Newcastle United are not there to be pushed around and their new owners have clearly stated that, that they will not be pushed around, they will get the deals done that are in the best interest of the football club and certainly not the best interest of an agent. So the agent now has scuppered the deal, whether it's dead in the water completely guys we'll have to wait and see because you know time will tell on that but at the moment I think Newcastle United now need to turn their attention to other players. Um, certainly there's been talk about uh, Christian Eriksen coming uh, I know he's not a striker but you know it, th there's reports that he's held talks with Newcastle United for me that would be an excellent signing a real statement uh, what a fantastic footballer Christian Eriksen is and he could slot into that side brilliantly uh, again not saying he's coming but these are the reports that I'm reading this morning um, but all in all, it's very, very disappointing about Ekateke because I was hoping that he'd come to the club. I was hoping that he'd be the next big thing. Um, but unfortunately for the player, his agent has scuppered that deal and we've walked away. Um, now, on Nick Pope, uh, pictures have been seen this morning of him entering St. James's Park for his medical uh, fee in the region of 8 to £10 million. Pound. That's going to be a really good signing for me. I've completely changed my opinion on this signing, and I think Nick Pope is going to be brilliant for us. Uh, the Burnley fans have certainly stated that he's going to do really well for us. Uh, and Chris Wood has also come out, uh, of course, former Burnley player, and said that Nick Pope is one of the best keepers I've worked with. Shot stop, and I think he's number one. He's unbelievable at taking pressure from crosses, corners, and every year he's been better playing out with his feet now if that's the case we are getting a very very good goalkeeper uh, and I don't think Chris Wood would put his uh, put himself on the line like that if he wasn't sure about Chris Wood's ability uh, now if anybody can make him better with his feet it's Eddie Howe isn't it you know his coaching staff will work with him uh, and I'm led to believe you know in my own thoughts that you know he is going to be starting the season number one I can't see him coming to the club if he wasn't being told that he would start as number one because the World Cup's coming up. It's a big time for, for Nick Pope because Jordan Pickford isn't exactly uh, on fire at the minute and I think it's an opportunity for another goalkeeper to grasp this number one spot before the World Cup comes along. And Nick Pope, for me, could be the ideal one. And he'll certainly get my back in as he'll certainly get all the Newcastle fans back in when the season kicks off if he is indeed in that number one position. 
But there you go. That's the, the, the news this morning on Newcastle United pulling out of the Ekiteki deal. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look now like the Frenchman is going to be a Newcastle United player. Whether that changes over the next uh, days and weeks, I don't know. But certainly, uh, the player himself needs to take a good hard look at his, uh, his representatives and see if they're actually working for him or they're actually working for themselves because they've scuppered this deal and he won't be coming to Newcastle at present. Uh, but let me know down in the comments what you think, guys. Uh, if you're watching this on the Thursday, uh, we will be doing a, a live show tonight at 8pm. Uh, we'll be discussing this more, Nick Pope's arrival, and who do we look for in a striker now? If we're not going to go for Ekateke, who is out there that you would like to see come to the club? But tune in for that at 8 o'clock. But in the meantime, guys, have a lovely day. Enjoy the weather. Take care.